Did you guys know that when I'm on the road, I stay in the car? I've basically lived in my car for five years, and I still do, and I've also lived at Planet Fitness. So let's talk about it. Ever since I can remember, since I was about 14 or 15 years old, I have been in love with California ever since Mythbusters, but I wanted an efficient way to get there. I didn't want to take a flight, I didn't want to do a rental car, so instead, we decided to stay in the car this one time and try it out. It was the best time of our life. We went to, what, Meteor Crater, we went to the satellites, um, the alien place, uh... Roswell, New Mexico, the alien place, um, the Grand Canyon. We went to every national park, every really cool tourist attraction possible. And we made the best trip out of it. And we stayed in the car the whole time. We didn't have a hotel. And we figured out that McDonald's is the place, Walmart is the place, and especially Planet Fitness. I would not be anywhere without Planet Fitness because they have the showers, they have your workout, they have plugs, everything that you could possibly need in a hotel is at Planet Fitness and we just happened to make it work and then it just stuck you know like we've been doing it ever since probably four or five years now and I can definitely tell you that I practically live in LA when I come here you know like it is my second home and the thing about LA is the traffic the one thing that we get rid of by staying in a car is the commute the traffic right so it's a funny story we actually had um, this one time where our hotel was like an hour and a half away and everything that I needed was in LA and we were in like, I don't know, Egypt. <laughs> and so it was a one and a half hour commute every single time that we had to get out of this hotel. And it was so horrible. It wasn't that bad, but you had to plan everything in advance. You had to be on time. You had to estimate for traffic. So it was just a lot more stress than staying in the car itself. We definitely get rid of that commute time. We can literally drive throughout the night wherever we need to be in the morning, stay in that parking lot or stay at a Planet Fitness close to there, and we are there. We are on time, we are on point, and especially when it comes to hitting events, like, I have become a master changer. Like, I am the best at changing in a car, doing my makeup in the car, doing all of this stuff in the car, and I can hit so many more things than someone who needs to go back to a hotel, back to this, back to this, and commute like 10 different times when I'm just chilling in the car, doing my makeup while my dad's driving or changing, nah, nah, nah. you know what I mean? So we make it work. So we figured out that the car is the most efficient way to travel and you get those experiences that no one else gets, right? You get to go to every national park. We just went to the Saguaro National Park with all the cactus and then we went to Joshua Tree. That was so fun. And who else gets to stay on the edge of the Grand Canyon for as long as they like, except for us? Who gets to, who gets to do that? Us. So when I come here, I'm always so shocked when people don't know this about me or when I'm in Miami or New York and we're just staying in the car and I'm like, you didn't know that I stay in the car? Yeah, I'm totally mobile. I love saying that. I'm mobile. Where do you, where do you stay? I'm mobile. What does that mean? The Hotel Elantra. <laughs> it is the funniest thing when people are like, you're not staying in the car. Yes, I'm staying in the car and it's fabulous because I have everything that a hotel has, right? You get your showers, you get your chargers, you get everything that you need, and amazing rock music 24-7. 80s on 8, bam, Sirius XM, bam, it is there. HLN, we are constantly listening to everything possible on this radio, and it's just amazing. Like, you have a TV here, right? So it's great. And people always ask me, does it get tiring staying in the car? I mean, no, not really. Uh, we always find different places to stay, like 24-hour, uh, IHOP, Denny's, whatever, McDonald's, and we're constantly out of this car. So the only time we're really in the car is the commute up here, the commute back there, and then the travel time, So and also sleeping. But it's just really efficient. That's all I have to say. Traveling in a car and staying in the car, staying on the, on the side of the road, in a rest area, in the desert, like these are cool places to stop, cool places to just be, you know? Like if we drove from New Orleans to Los Angeles, that takes what, like two and a half days, about maybe three days. If we stayed in a hotel, that would take three, four, five, six... I don't even know how many long days. It would take so much longer than just going straight through, having a good time, seeing all the experiences that you want to see, and just making the best out of it. And the coolest thing about staying in the car is that it's comfy. I don't know what kind of car you have, but this Hyundai Elantra, I fall right to sleep. Dad gets on the road, I'm knocked 
out. Like, man, I have my blankets, I have my pillows, I have everything set up, my chargers, um, the air conditioning exactly the way I like it. It's literally more comfortable than like my bed. I customized this little seat right here to fit me. I got my food right here, I got my toothbrush, I got this, I got this. Like everything is on hand, ready to go, and it's so comfy. Even though I'm six feet tall, I am so flexible and I feel like the weirder sleeping positions are better for me. I don't know, like it just, it it's better than just sleeping on my back. I hurt more on my back or on my side than I do like sleeping like this, you know? That's just the acrobatist, contortionist part of me. I feel like it is only fair to get my parents' opinion because they are constantly with me. My dad is literally my personal driver and my mom, if you guys don't know this about her, she has been recently diagnosed with dementia and so she has been along for the ride for a year and a half now and she likes it, you know? Like we constantly have to stay together just because of that and it's brought us closer. You know, like I'm constantly with my mom, I'm constantly with my dad, I'm not just out in LA doing whatever I'm doing by myself because that's risky. Instead, I bring my parents to all these LA parties, all these events, and everyone loves them. Literally, they are the topic of conversation. My dad's chilling in a Hawaiian shirt and my mom is in her jeans and it's hilarious and everyone else is like black tie and it's, but like they love it, you know? Like everyone admires that I bring my parents to these events because first of all, safety is number one priority and I get all the good BTS. My dad is the best BTSer ever. So yeah, thanks dad for all those videos. Hi, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you've like ever really been on camera. Like on my YouTube Hold channel. It. I don't know. Anyways, so he has been doing this with me for like four or five years, and I just know the question that I want to ask you. What is the number one thing that you need to know for every road trip? Where are the bathrooms? Where are the bathrooms? Where are the nearest bathrooms? So do you like this? Do you like traveling? Love it. Yeah? Yeah, I always want, thing? yep. I, want, I wanted to go around the world when I was a kid, and I never did it. I worked hard, and I always... Figured that one day I'd do it, and then the moment we're here, yeah, the moment we had, I don't know, the moment, the moment I had a chance, I just drove off. So like literally, school ended and we went to California. It was over. Like we we started traveling and we just fell in love with it. And yeah, personal opinion. What do you think? Out of ten, how would you rate our road trips? Ninety percent of them are tens or okay. eleven. Some of them are twelve. Unless you lose your wallet and your keys and your glasses, that and that was really bad. That was the worst. Was uh, I'm still paying for that. that was really bad. Anyways, I think dad loves us. He's been doing this with me for five years, whereas mom has recently had her diagnosis, and so she's had to tag along, and that's perfectly fine because the more the merrier. So here's mama. She is literally eating McDonald's. We are in front of a McDonald's. That's fabulous. Do you like traveling? Sure. <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> so mom has never really been much of a traveler. She loves her dogs. I love the dogs too. She likes to stay home. She's very much a homebody. But recently she has actually liked it, I think. You like it? Do you like traveling? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't really have much of an opinion about it. But um, based on what I've seen, like, yeah, I do think she likes it, especially when we get like these really cool opportunities to go somewhere like a promo or wherever, like we're going to Vegas and we're staying in the Bellagio, like that is the type of stuff that she likes, of course, whereas my dad likes more of the nature, more of the desert, like more of the road trip vibes. So two different types of people when it comes to traveling, but I think we compromise. It isn't like we're, we're, we don't want to stay in hotels or but sometimes it becomes a, a, a an issue because let's say we get out of something at two o'clock in the morning, okay, and then the the traffic might still be kicking two o'clock in the morning. Believe it or not, L.A. traffic is incredible. So you're forty miles away. It might take you an hour and ten, fifteen, twenty minutes to get where you're going. Now it's three thirty. Then you got to get your stuff out the car, and then you got to get ready and get into the That's hotel. That's also a problem. So, Let me tell you a story. This was probably the most traumatic experience that we have ever had staying out of the car, staying in a hotel. We were in Inglewood, which was crazy. I don't know why we stayed in there, but we did. And, and that was, the first, that that was, was the this was the first time that we were just like, yep, nope, car's better. Car is definitely better. So um, we decided to go to a hotel. Brand new hotel in Inglewood, good price, like looked like good parking, looked like a decent area, ish, decent enough for LA. So we decided to take everything out of the car that night and we 
just like went through everything, unpacked, did our thing. And then I was like, mm, I don't really need these dresses or like this jacket or any of this. I was like, eh. So I'm going to pack it for tomorrow. So I go downstairs in the middle of the night and I pack a few things like your cooler, a speaker, or this random things that I'm like, eh, I'm not going to need these dresses. Like who's going to steal these dresses? And then I noticed that the car was in a place that had no cameras, right? In this whole parking garage in the La Quinta had no cameras and it was backed up with this wall that anyone could literally just like hop into the back of our trunk and steal things out. But then I was like, mm, yeah, that's never gonna happen. It happened. So literally the next day, the elevator seems to be broken. Fine, we don't know why, okay. Elevator's broken, so then we wait, we wait, we wait, and then, okay, it's not coming. So then we take the stairs, like 10 flights of stairs, wonderful, and we bring all of our crazy bags downstairs, these stairs, it's crazy, and then it was just long enough to where something happened, and the trunk's open, and everything is stolen out of our car. And I'm like, now how the heck did that happen? The elevator's down, everything's going wrong, and everything just decided to be stolen out of our car. That definitely kind of wasn't a coincidence, and I really don't know what happened there, but that was the last time that we decided to stay in a hotel. And we decided staying in the car with all of our belongings Stuff's in this car nice. while we're in here and the door's locked, that's probably better than staying in a hotel and either getting our car stolen or having the stuff stolen out of our car. So, good story time. Anyways guys, if you didn't know that we have been traveling, road tripping, living in the car and at Planet Fitness for about four or five years, now you do. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and make sure you subscribe. And I think I'm gonna do more videos like this because I don't know, I've never done it before and I feel like no one knows about this even though I tell it all the time. So I'm gonna do more videos like this and we're gonna take you on a road trip. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.